Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022 No Man's Land Challenge. Today we are looking at making some money. As you can see, the loan there at the bottom right shows minus $500,000. And that's really all there is to it. We've already made $12,354. And this is our final sale of silage here let us get this taken care of all right so what we're looking to do today is just see how much money we can truly make um because for one we're hoping to come up with a silage roller uh, that will help us expedite the super long process that was uh, getting that silage compacted this last time. In addition to that, we are hoping to get something maybe coming into the used. I would still like to buy that baler, honestly, but I don't see a world where it is the right purchase right now. We would have to come across just way more money than we've got access to right now. Um, so, I just very much think that we're going to be better suited taking just a little bit more time to make our money uh, and just kind of get the operation rolling before we look to upset everything right away. So, I will see you back at the farm. We are back at the farm. As you can see, we have no silage in the pit. Uh, we've got a nice little setup over there. We still have 600 liters of chaff. Um, I believe that's just this stuff right here. Uh, but we could load this stuff up. But we're also going to be looking to take another serious cut out of our grass we own. Um, but first things first, let's start and see what kind of uh, silage compactor we would like to afford. Because there is uh, this little roller, $786. We have enough horsepower to run it. I just, I feel like it's the right call. You know what I mean? Because if we get ourselves a, a piece of equipment built specifically for what we are attempting to do, I just think it, it, it seems like the right call. We're driving a Massey right now, I believe. So we're going to go with a red and maybe like a... There we go, red and black. Oh man, that is a clean piece of equipment. Uh, we're paying a hundred bucks to paint it, but our stuff has to look good. It has to look good. We can't let it not look good. So we're gonna drive over. We're gonna go pick that thing up, and I think we're gonna grab fuel while we're in town. Uh, but let's just go and do that quick. Oh man, this thing's glorious. Here we are. We are back with our new silage roller this thing i'm hoping is going to be able to help make it less of a grind uh, just when it comes down to getting the silage compacted uh we're gonna have really nothing to compare that directly to uh, it just because i don't think we're gonna have a hundred thousand liters uh in the silage pit again this go around but I'm just, I'm trying to see if we can come up with a decent way to make money consistently throughout the year. Uh, and that usually comes in the form of productions or animals. The one I kind of mentioned to our, uh, to our folks in the No Cut series is that we don't have access to wheat. And without access to wheat, we're going to be shelling out a lot of money. Oh. That makes so much sense as to why this thing's being a pain in my butt. There we go. Is it trying to compact right now? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's kind of seemed like if we invest the money in the chickens, we will still need to invest it in the wheat for them to produce eggs. Otherwise, we're, just, we're not going to get any production out of these darn chickens that I kind of want. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at right now, is I'm just trying to figure out... Can I turn off the radio? I have to figure out how to do that. Down? Left, right? 
I don't know. Um, but let's, yeah, let's just throw our chaff in here quick. Because I just want to see if there's, you know, like, if it'll go, like, any faster. We really have nothing to compare it to again, like I said. But maybe just by having, yeah, we can't compare this at all. It's not even close to the same amount. It'd be nice if we could. We do have eight thousand dollars. That is a nice, healthy chunk of change. What we could consider is maybe something with a front DTO. Oh wait, I mean we would be leasing it, which would be a serious issue. I don't know if that's something we want to even consider. Let's just take a peek quick. So that's worth 10 grand. If we purchased a different mower, one for the front, it's 10 grand regardless. So like if we're able to find a tractor with a front PTO for a decent, so I mean, there was this one for 39, but I feel like it was low horse, wasn't it? 70 horse, 42 grand with the front three point because it would need it. So, I mean, it's 42 grand before we can even touch that. Uh, I'm going to look at some animals and be right back. Or we save up, I mean, nine grand right there. That's so much. I definitely think that is the move. $9,000. It will do 360 chickens. That just seems like the right call. Nothing else in here is really going to produce any value for us. So we need $9,000. I think we're going to do a 10 to 15 row pass. We're going to go up the hill. Boom, boom, boom. I think we're probably do 15 rows. That's three rounds. It's going to be 60,000-ish liters of chaff. And 60,000 liters of chaff should come out to about 10 grand by the time we have turned it into silage. Um, so I think that's going to be the call. We are going to get into the absolutely massive time lapse this is going to be. This is going to take pretty much most of the time here but I, mean, I think we came and expected this we need as much money as we can get and we're going to be mowing again in reverse because that's the option we have available to us so sit back and enjoy this time lapse because it is going to be it's just going to be one of the time lapses of all time, okay? Like, this other grass isn't quite tall enough yet, so we have to go up the hill. We're going to be doing 15 passes. I will see you when it's all said and done. mowing here that is what we like to see look at that okay uh and then we were also hoping to get this picked up which is a slightly slower process but if we do manage to get this all picked up nice clean and proper uh life will be good let's leave this right here We'll swing around and grab this. But I just want to check our fuel. I think eh, I don't even think we need to check our fuel. Our fuel is like one of those things where it's like ah, I think we'll be okay. But let's just get a little bit closer again. 
and back to struggling, I guess. We'll just drop the pickup. There we go. Turn it on because it'll slow us right down to the speed it wants to operate. And it's go time. I'm not going to complain at all by the situation in our bunker silo here. We are fortunate we got the trailer out of there and we're going to leave it at that. Along with that, like we've got, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm thinking we're just going to throw the uh, leveler, which I haven't figured out how to flip back up yet. I think like that one, I know it's really heavy, but I don't know if we could move that by hand I just don't know I just don't know we'll figure it out though all right that is all of the grass that we just cut right there I think we're going to have no choice but to tip this thing up if it were me, like, now stuck in the situation, I would lower the three-point, get it underneath this front edge, just to be able to get it up in the air. Because once it, once it came level, it would not be an issue. Um, so we gotta find... I keep this mod installed just because I am a goon. Um, so let's just put it down, pick it up, rotate... Yeah, I, I'm a goon like that, so we just, let's not do that again, because tipping it over like that is not the right way to play the game. Uh, but I'm just hoping we can, like, really get this thing just, like, knocked down. Let's see how it goes here. Keep this thing as high as we can. It got behind the blade. Okay. Yep, no, that's my own fault. I should have kept it this way. Up we go. Okay. We just got to try to keep this thing's height all the way up. We are... I mean, this is better than it could have been. This is better than it could have been. I do wish we had a heavier tractor so that we could actually run this thing and really force it level, but push this in. I mean, we could just theoretically just push this all back into the silo. Oh. Why don't you want to accelerate my tractor? Push this all in. Woo! Now that is moving it. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're kind of in pretty deep here. Let's take it back out. Put that thing as close to the ground as we can. See if we can shove some of this back in. I don't know if this thing's like working our tractor this hard or why we just can't accelerate, but Woo! Yeah, it's just like some of it spills out and just goes wherever it wants. I honestly think that's workable. I think that that's workable. Let's grab our new silage compactor, try this thing out. I'm hoping this thing is just an absolute beast at compacting. We don't want to go that fast through here, but let's try it out. Whoa, doggy! We may have made some slight miscalculations here. Um, probably just like 
disconnect it. No, there's no way. <laughs> it just rolls off the back. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, thank you for watching so much. Please remember, if you do enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment. Remember to subscribe. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your days and or nights. I will see you next time. Peace out.